Okay, uh, YouTube Model Railroad fans, this will be another uh, video on uh, Walther's kit. This one is the electrical utility pole set. I just call them telephone poles. And uh, this is the second uh, packages, package of these I bought. And uh, after uh, I show you the parts and uh, talk about them, there will be a video on uh, how they look on my layout since I've already built some of these. You get these four uh, pieces with the, the kit. They have the poles over here. These are all the different size arms. So you get some long ones, some short ones, and so forth. This is the uh, transformers. Paint those uh, kind of a gray color, and the rest of them are brown. And uh, so you get four of these. And uh, instructions show you uh, how to put these together in different configurations. So you can do, uh, you know, the two, two of equal length, or a long one and a medium one, or two short ones. This is a, how you can do 90 degree turns and branch line turns and things like that. So uh, those are different instructions on how to do it. This back part shows you how to build the uh, transformer uh, junction. I don't know what the exact word would be, but uh, they give you this little, uh, also give you this little uh, wiring uh, spool, spool of wire. So you can use that, I guess you might use that on your transformer poles. And I didn't use any of this to string on my layout, and I'll explain that when I show uh, how they look on my layout in this next section. In the second part of the video, I'm going to show the uh, first set of telephone poles I built on my for my original layout. I think the kit gives you close to 20 poles you can build. Uh, not exactly sure on that, but I think that's right. But here's an example of uh, a long arm and a medium size arm, and then I put a transformer on the back. I try to put them close to my major buildings so you get to kind of imagine the utility wires running into the buildings i did not put any wires on because i didn't glue these down so i could just take these out and uh, work on the layout i was afraid that i would be hitting them with my hand if i put them in there permanently this one shows the uh, utility pole set up with the two poles you can see they go around pretty much around the inside of my uh, layout go down the back side kind of come around the front side here and they go down between the uh, freight car sidings they jump over this way and then go down the around the uh, this outside of the layout and have some down in here near the buildings. Got another one over there near the buildings. And I tried to set these up so that uh, you could kind of imagine the, the wire on this one here. Let me take him out. He's got uh, three, three arms on him. And you could kind of imagine the wire coming in to there and then getting redirected down this way. Yeah, it's not perfect, but uh, I do like them on my network. Adds a little height to it, a little interest. So uh, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Mark at Eminem Rails talks about no dogs in the train room. Well, I kind of have a rule about you no know, cats around when I'm trying to build models because this one will get up on my uh, table when I'm not looking and uh, push my parts around. Then I have to go looking for them, sometimes under the couch. So, uh, no cats in the train room either.